Good morning. Good morning, Good though. Morning. Morning. <laughs> we are going to film a math lesson today. Zoe is in what grade? First grade. First grade. And how old are you? Six. She is six. Almost she will be seven. seven in March. She is on level one of easy peasy math. So we purchased the EP math one. This is the workbook. I also have the parent guide. Let me grab that really quick. I love math. <laughs> Looks like this. Oh, you broke my chair. This is the parent guide, and in here you will find, if you use this as an offline course, all the lesson plans needed for each lesson. Um, some lessons you won't need this, especially for this level. As you get a little bit higher, um, you may need to resource a parent guide if you use Easy Peasy. So for my son, I do access the parent guide often. And it does just help to kind of give you a little bit more of wording that you can use for your lesson. Um, so today we are gonna simply do a lesson. We are comparing numbers. So learning greater than, less than. She went over that a little bit yesterday. So we're gonna continue with that today. She has a math song to watch, which is fun. This is a song that we used for my son when he was in first grade and it's by Number Rock, and we're gonna watch that. It has a little jingle to it, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump in and do our worksheet for today. So follow along with us if you're curious to know what a math lesson looks like for Easy Peasy Math One. Can I listen to the song? Yes, you can listen. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so here is the worksheet we're going to be doing today. It's lesson 52, comparing numbers, and it just simply gives you the direction. So she's just gonna be coming in, filling in the symbols here. And then down here is just some review. Write the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So we'll go ahead and focus on this first. I did also go ahead and open up the parent guide so you could see what that looked like. So we're on lesson 52 today. <laughs> So it just kind of gives you some instructions. You can read these or put them into your own words. And then goes over here and shows you a little bit more explanation. And then right here, before you get to the worksheet, if you want to, you can just out loud go over these and then it tells you to go on to lesson 52 worksheet. So compare the numbers with less than symbol, greater than or equal to, okay? So what, what would the equal to, what does the equal sign mean? It's when the two numbers are, are the same. Yeah, do you see any of those? Stay on the side. See any of those right now? Good, so what symbol would you put there? Good. Now if you look here at this one, so look here at this one, the example is already done for you. So this one reads, three is less than six, and that's true, correct? Three is less than six. It's a smaller number than six, correct? Okay, so come down here. Obviously, <laughs> 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 
Good, now how does that one read now? Nine. It's less than 19. Good, and how does this one read? 20 is big, um, larger, um, bigger than 10. Good, very good. And how about this one? Three is the same as three. Or equal to. Three is equal to three. Good job. Very good. You're going to write the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. I did this. And this is, yep, you've done this before. So this is kind of review. And remember, you're going from smallest to, to biggest. biggest. So in this group here, which one's the smallest? So easy. Three. <laughs> okay. After you use it, you can cross it out if you'd like to. Good. Next up would be? Seven. Mm-hmm. So that's the end of Zoe's math lesson. Took us about 10 minutes today. Um, not too bad. A little bit longer because we were filming, but she did a good job. The song really helps my kiddos to kind of understand things a little bit better. Um, so yeah, now Zoe has a greater understanding of comparing numbers, greater than, less than, equal to signs, to symbols. To um, it looks like the next lesson also goes over it. Well, the next couple lessons actually um, go over it as well. So here's tomorrow Yay, and then the, tomorrow. the next two. So hopefully we can do it. <laughs> um, once we get to tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, she'll be able to do them a little more independently. So she won't need me as much. So I always do a math. <laughs> that's the plan. Did a good job. So did you enjoy that lesson? Yes. Do you like the alligator song? Yes. I'll get to go through the basket. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. See you Merry soon. Christmas. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>